I'm going to big hand everybody for our special guest tonight, Chris Rock. It's not gonna be that good. Not at not at these prices. <laughs> How much is it to get in here? Huh? Oh, man. What? What? What's the minimum? Two drinks, oh you. You can't even pay for parking to my show for that. <laughs> my tickets are expensive. I'm at the Borgata. <laughs> Ain't that that bullshit Trump shit? At the Borgata. Um, what the fuck am I going to talk about? Uh, I should talk about something, but... Um, Huh? I'll give you whatever I want. All right. No, 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 no. Um. Okay. I'll I'll ease into it. Okay. Watching the news. Okay. First of all, this um. This Boston shit is fucked up. You run a marathon, and then there's a bomb at the end of the marathon. That motherfucker, sh you, you, I mean, that's some cold shit, man. <laughs> At the end of the marathon, so you just ran 26 miles. 26.2 tw miles, and then somebody go, run! <laughs> God damn! And you was training for 26? <laughs> so now, like, if you're working out for a marathon, you got to train 26 and in case shit. <laughs> you got to... In... <laughs> Your coach would be like, we know we should run a little more. Just, just some case some shit go down. You have the energy to keep running. Because, you know, some people say, fuck it. I'm just tired. You're gonna have to blow my knees off. <laughs> so that happened, and I'm gonna ease into it. Then we're good. To it. I see this guy. What's the guy in Africa with no legs? Shot the girl. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Like shot, the, killed her. White guy, no legs. Beautiful woman. Now, first of all. A beautiful woman does not just go out with a guy with no legs. <laughs> she thought about that shit. She talked to her girlfriends. <laughs> He's got no legs. It's <laughs> kind of cute, but he's legless. <laughs> and you know, at least one of the girlfriends said, you should go. It's not like he's going to kill you. We're easing in. We're easing in. Can't just come out here telling, you know. Not like he going to kill you. But the weird thing about him, he's South African sprinter with no legs. Now, black people are the fastest people on earth, right? So, that's, that's, not like, that's not like my hypothesis. 
this is something we can all kind of see, right? So if black people are the fastest people are, how the fuck is a legless white man an Olympic sprinter in South Africa? How is that possible? <laughs> how bad was apartheid that a white man with no legs is beating niggas in Africa? It's not South Ireland. <laughs> South Africa. It's just odd. Now, me, I'm trying to be a better person. That's right, that's all you want. You want to be better. I'm trying to be a better person. It's hard, it's hard to be a better person because I know me. That's right, you know you. Today, I gave a bum $5. Bum was down there giving $5. And that's kind of cool, I gave a bum $5, right? But the problem is, I know I gave the bum $5. <laughs> like, I'm just too conscious in my head. Like, I know I gave him $5. It's almost like I'm looking at God as I gave him the money, like, look at me, I'm a nice person. <laughs> I'm a good human being, right, Lord? <laughs> That's not a good deed. I'm full of shit. I am thoroughly full of shit. And I'm so full of shit that for the rest of the day, no matter who I was talking to, I slipped in that I gave a bum $5 into the conversation. Hey, man, you see that game last night? Yeah, I gave a bum five dollars, man. I didn't really have time. I was a little late. I was five dollars late. <laughs> Trying to make people think I'm better than I am. But I'm a piece of shit. I just gave him five dollars. Now, check this out. I had about 300 in my pocket. <laughs> And I gave this motherfucker five. <laughs> That's enough that you can't even get a drink at McDonald's. <laughs> so he can get a burger with no fries. <laughs> and I'm calling myself a humanitarian. <laughs> like I'm a fucking good person. I'm full of shit. I'm full of fucking shit. <laughs> I'm trying to be a better person. Trying to be a better person. <sighs> trying to get a little religion in my life. <laughs> trying to get a little religion. You know, I want to go to church. You know, I'm, try I'm trying to find God before God finds me. Because, <laughs> you know, God never finds you at a good time. You know, God never, ever finds you at a good time. No, 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 God, God shows up in jail. God shows up in rehab. <laughs> you got your ass kicked out of bar. You're outside bleeding, somebody raped you, blood coming out your ass. God shows up. How you doing, my son? Never in a good time. You never sit in courtside at the fucking Nick game, getting your dick sucked by Tyra Banks. <laughs> and God just sit next to you and go, oh, she suck a good dick, don't she? I made that bitch. It's never happened, does it? It's never happened. God never show God shows up at bad shit. Try to find God before God finds me. <laughs> get a little religion. You know, but you can't get too much religion. No, no, no. Little religion's great. Too much, ooh, bad. <laughs> you know, religion's like salt. <laughs> 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 
Religion is like salt. God is like salt, baby. Just a sprinkle on, whoa! Whoa! Great! But you put too much on, it just fucks up the meal, don't it? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? You know? Religion's good when they got a soup line. No, oh, the church has a soup line. That's great. It's great. Church is blowing up abortion clinics. Ooh, too much salt. <laughs> That's too much salt. Too much salt. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a better person. Piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm trying to do good. I'm trying, though. A couple of months ago, I went to uh, Washington, D.C., uh, some anti-gun thing. You know, I was like, I'm be against, you know, I, I had this crazy idea that maybe people shouldn't have machine guns in their house. <laughs> I got home, I got so many death threats and shit. <laughs> I said to myself, I will never be against anything again. I don't give a fuck what anybody's doing. I'm the opposite of Bono now. <laughs> Child labor, give them more work. I don't give a fuck. Ozone, fuck the ozone, okay? Environment, fucks plastic, bitch, plastic. Ooh. Gotta save the trees. Fuck a tree, motherfucker. Slave ships were made of trees. Shit. <laughs> no, 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 man. I'm not, I'm not against anything, man. I'm against, uh, you know what it is? The problem's not guns. The problem's language. Language is just fucked up. We, we, we allow ourselves to create phrases that make bullshit tolerable. <laughs> That's what we do. We, we, we end up with phrases and words that make shit we know is dead wrong tolerable. You know, it's gun shit is like, well, all these bullshit words. Oh, we got our guns have to be legal, blah, 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 because people want to go hunting. And like, there's, there's no real hunting in America. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just, you're gonna kill animals for fun. That's cool, you wanna kill it? God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> but hunting? It's not real hunt. it's disrespectful <laughs> to people that actually have to hunt. Like you drive by a supermarket to go hunting. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally driving by fucking food <laughs> to go hunt. Stop it. Just stop. Don't say you're hunting. Say we're going to kill some shit, okay? Motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> drive by supermarkets. Motherfuckers, I've been hunting. They pack a lunch. <laughs> Fuck, motherfucker, we got food. Why should we shoot these motherfuckers? We got them right here in the sandwich. Right here. <laughs> Just tell the truth. That's all I'm asking. Just tell the fucking truth. Just tell the truth. I'm trying to find God. I'm trying to find God before God finds me. People. Religious people get crazy. God, God makes no mistakes. God makes no mistakes. You ever, you ever read the Bible? <laughs> Have you read the Bible? What happened on the seventh day? God rested. Why do you rest? To avoid mistakes. <laughs> You don't rest because shit's just popping. 
<laughs> you rest after you fuck some shit up. <laughs> God don't make mistakes. You ever been to Pittsburgh? <laughs> Shit's a fucking mistake. <laughs> God don't make mistakes. You ever seen a porcupine? <laughs> it's cuddly, but you can't touch it. <laughs> the fuck is a porcupine? A fucking mistake. It's like a killer rabbit. I'm trying to keep it real, y'all. I'm trying to keep it real. <laughs> Just trying to keep it real. What was I talking about? Language, earlier language. It's gun shit. It's weird. It's like, uh, we... I, li I like the term uh, game. We're hunting game. <laughs> We're hunting game. Well, if it's a game, how does the deer win? I've never seen a deer just pointing out human heads in his house. Mm, this one's a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hunting, man. Guns. Just call shit what it is, man. We gotta ban assault weapons. There's no such thing as assault weapons. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. An assault is a punch in the face. <laughs> a kick in the balls is an assault. <laughs> there are no assault weapons in the world. Assault weapon. You wouldn't buy an assault weapon. It's a kill a lot of motherfuckers machine. And they should call it a kill a lot of motherfuckers machine. <laughs> Just call it what it is, because if they called it a kill a lot of motherfuckers machine, perhaps they wouldn't sell it at Walmart. <laughs> oh yeah, let's. <laughs> Do you have a kill a lot of motherfuckers machine? <laughs> yeah, right next to the Pampers, yes. Assault weapon. There's no such thing as an assault weapon. Fucking Chris Brown is an assault weapon. <laughs> Chris Brown is an assault weapon. And he never jams. <laughs> I think Chris Brown got a raw deal. We don't know. We don't fucking know. We don't know. People, oh, just, you should never hit a woman. You should never hit a woman. You should never, ever. There's no reason to ever hit a woman. No, there's no reason to ever hit a woman first. <laughs> you can hit a woman back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. If Oprah hit me, I would knock that bitch out. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> knock her. <laughs> I would check that chin so quick. <laughs> ah, motherfucker. <laughs> it's the aha uh -huh moment, right? <laughs> Anyone back. Chris Brown. We don't know. Hey, man, I got two daughters, right? I got two daughters. I got Lola and Zara, right? Lola is the sweetest child on earth. 
Lola, you know, sends money to Africa. <laughs> you know, without looking to God while she's doing it. <laughs> Lola trick or treats for UNICEF. Yola, Lola invites everybody to her parties. You know, the, the most unpopular kids. She makes sure they get, you know, they get treated well. Lola's a fucking angel. <laughs> if Lola ever came in this in my house and said, "Daddy." A boy hit me. I would get my gun. <laughs> and I kill a lot of motherfuckers machine. <laughs> and I would shoot the guy in the head. I would shoot the guy in the head. I would as a matter of fact, I would lick the bullet. <laughs> I would leave DNA on the bullet. <laughs> so everybody know who the fuck did it. That's how lovely Lola is, right? Now, my other daughter, Zara, if Zara ever came home and told me a guy hit her, I would go, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Zara takes after me. Can't go around shooting people because Zara told you something. <laughs> you got to get that shit checked out. <laughs> <laughs> Zara, you be like, yo, man, just don't do that again, man. Just don't. Hey, man, just, just call me next time. No, no, no. But no, no, no. Can't, oh, is that mine? No, it's not mine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can't hit women. Can't hit women. Just, I'm trying my new material. <laughs> Can't hit women, man. Can't hit women. I was um, driving in the other day, and I sit there almost done with that tower, the, the Freedom, Freedom Tower. tower. So almost done. And it's amazing, but they really, they fucked up the name. They should call it the Never Going In There Tower. <laughs> Because I am never going in there. <laughs> There's no reason I would ever step. Why the fuck would anybody step in the same fucking space? What the fuck? What does this building do? Does it duck when the plane goes? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> do, do, <laughs> So you go to work with your briefcase and your parachute? <laughs> hey, I'm keeping it real. I, I don't know what the fuck they thinking, putting that shit in the exact same spot. They better put some mandatory shit in that building that you got to go to, like the IRS, <laughs> child court, <laughs> shit you can't get out of. <laughs> they, they put a banana republic in there. <laughs> that motherfucker's gonna be empty. <laughs> I am never going in that building. Never! Are you fucking kidding me? I don't give a fuck if Scarlett Johansson is butt naked on the 89th floor in, in a plate of ribs. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Fuck out of here. The same spot? Dude, man, yo, yo, yo. I got robbed on like 49th and 8th 20 years ago. I have not been back to 49th and 8th. <laughs> <laughs> Al-Qaeda ain't getting me in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> Get me at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> They're not getting me at the same spot. It's not, I know some people are like, oh my God, he's telling 9-11 jokes. I'm not, I'm not telling 9-11 jokes. I'm just saying, you know, first of all, you got to understand. There's no sacred days in America. 
we will commercialize anything. We'll make money off of anything. We're only five years away from 9-11 sales. <laughs> it's all coming, like, come on down to Red Lobster. These shrimp are $9.11. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a great deal. <laughs> We've done it with every holiday. We don't give a fuck. I remember Martin Luther King Day was fucking, people were singing and it was a big, it meant something. Now it's like every other holiday, you got commercials. Oh, these Toyotas are practically free at last, free at last. <laughs> these Toyotas are practically free at last. This MLK holiday, Medea's got a dream. <laughs> we don't care. We don't care. 9 11, Martin Luther King, we don't give a fuck. Look what we did to Christmas. It's Jesus' birthday. It's Jesus'. Do you understand what Christmas is? It's Jesus' birthday. Now, I didn't personally know Jesus, but from everything I have read, Jesus was the least materialistic person to ever walk the earth. <laughs> and we have turned around and made his birthday the most materialistic day of the whole year. Wow, that's not something you do because you like Jesus. That's mean. <laughs> Somebody say, Jesus, from now on, on your birthday, everybody gets shit. <laughs> Except you. <laughs> it's Jesus' birthday. And then the crazy thing is we have commercialized Jesus' birthday to such an extent that at the end of Jesus' birthday, an economist will come on television and tell you how shitty Jesus' birthday was this year. <laughs> so we had a horrible Jesus' birthday this year. We didn't sell a lot of iPhones, my God. Hopefully business will pick up by his crucifixion. his birthday <laughs> and then his crucifixion what the fuck okay birthdays are boring okay but God, what the so Jesus comes out of a tomb back from the dead and we sell eggs This is, not, this is not a country that likes Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. But speaking of, speaking of Jesus, speaking of life, speaking of love, you know, here's one thing we like to do in life. We like to thank God for the things we have. We want to thank God for our health and our family, you know, our children our jobs, our well-beings. We love to thank God for the things we have, but we never take time to thank God for the things we don't have. I like to thank God for the things I don't have. Like, I like to thank God that I'm not attracted to children. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought of it as a gift, did you? That's a bad one if you got it. <laughs> There's like 350 people in here. Somebody's attracted to kids. <laughs> Somebody in this room right now <laughs> sees a kid and goes, like, God damn, that kid's so. Ash, gosh, but gosh.
you're older than him, right? Okay. It's okay. Wow, 20 years older, god damn. She's like, I love hard dick, it's just a broken problem. Yeah, I like the fucking... How you doing, man? Good for you. Yeah, yeah. What was I told? Yeah, attracted to kids. I'm not attracted to kids, it's good. But here's the thing in life, it's not bad to be attracted to kids. The thing in life is you just can't act on your shit. You can be attracted to whatever you want. You got no control of any of this shit. It's like liking ice cream or liking the color red. You got no control. You just gotta push that shit down. <laughs> Whatever your shit is, we all got something. Push it down. We live in a society now always telling people, come out the closet, be you. No! <laughs> the fuck? Some people have nice closets. <laughs> Some people have air conditioning and TVs in their closet. Push it down. There's gay men in here right now with women. Right now. That's what you want to do? That's, hey, do you push it down? No. <laughs> Push it down. <laughs> Lesbians with men. There's a couple in here. <laughs> and guys like, she don't like me. No, she don't want you. <laughs> you think she just mad at you. No, she don't want you. Push it down. Just push your shit down. Push it down. That's it. You gotta push your shit down. Everybody, everybody got their thing? Fucks them up. Me, porno, porno, something like that. Uh, <laughs> porno, been trying to kick it for years. <laughs>